hello everyone. I am finally back today after a short little break for the past two days, I think it's been. And I have little Miss Layla today. Finally, she is back on video. She had a little break from videos. Right, Layla? So, today I definitely wanted to do a video with her. I've been spending a little time with her today because she's getting jealous of the new baby. She's getting a little jealous and a little... She's been a little neglected, <laughs> as you guys know how it go when you get a new baby. Um, Mateo has been dominating all of the videos, little Willow Mateo. So today is Layla's day. So this is Dwayne Dania. Dania is the girl from the Dwayne edition by Claire Taylor Dolls. For those who are not familiar with this baby, or you're watching my channel for the first time. She is my full body silicone baby girl. And she is a drinking wet baby girl. Um, she's poured all in one piece. As you can see, her neck is all attached. Um, it's flexible where it can turn from side to side and all of that good stuff. And so today what I wanted to do was someone asked about the dolls with the drink and wet systems in them. And I have done demonstrations before with the drink and wet and talked about it and all of that. But it must be a new subscriber. So I figured I do have a lot of new subscribers. So I'm going to just go over some things all over again. Just repeat some things and do a drink and wet feeding with her because I haven't done one in a while. So today I'm going to use this bottle. This is the Como Tomo all silicone bottle and it's soft and squishy as you can see. You can kind of squeeze this one. Um, this bottle, the Chico, is a regular bottle with the silicone nipple and this one she actually came with in her box opening from Claire Taylor. And she drinks really well from this one. And this is a stage two nipple. So the hole is really big. It has like a slit in this hole um, instead of just a little round dot of a hole. It's really a wide hole in this bottle. So the water flows out of this one really well. But... I'm going to today show this bottle. I haven't tried this one in a while. Um, I think I only used this with her once or twice since she's been home. And I've had her now since last July of 2018. Um, I use lubricating jelly or gel on the nipples of the bottles and the pacifiers before I insert them. In the silicone doll's mouths. I have went over that also on videos. Um, you don't have to use a whole, whole lot of it. But it definitely helps in inserting the nipple. And then this nipple is really soft. So I have to kind of open her mouth with this one. Because it's definitely a soft nipple on this bottle. And... Sometimes she dribbles, sometimes she doesn't, but I just like to be safe and put a burp cloth or a bib under her when feeding her. Um, so what I'm doing when I'm feeding her is, as you can see, the bottle is moving. I gently push the bottle and then pull it back, push it, and then pull it back. That just helps in the liquid to come out of the nipple easier. Because of course she's not actually sucking like a real baby would be sucking. So. So when you kind of just gently push. It just makes the water come out easier. Um, what I have in the bottle What's recommended for drinking wet dolls by this particular artist 
um, Claire Taylor recommends just giving them purified bottled water. Um, that is the recommendation. And I like the bottled water because I think it's cleaner, less things are in it than in the tap water. But I'm pretty sure you probably could boil tap water and use it as well. But I just like the purified bottled water. So as she's drinking in the back of her throat, the person wanted to know like how do they drink and what kind of bottles and all of those things. They had like really good questions about the drinking wet system. So I'm going to be just sharing everything about it that I can think of to explain it because she might have those questions and some other people may also have the same questions. So in the drinking wet silicone babies, there is a tube inside of the doll and the tube leads from the back of the baby's throat like all the way in the back of their throat, back there in their mouth. And when I look in this doll's mouth, what I love is that I can't really see that tubing. She also has a uvula in her mouth, little tonsils back there. So her mouth looks so normal inside, tongue and gums and everything, but you can't see the tubing. But there is a tube back there in the back of her mouth and it goes all the way down the whole baby you know, inside of her to her to her bottom area, her diaper area. And again, when you change her diaper, it looks all normal like a regular baby girl, all realistic and everything like a real baby, but you can't see the tubing in her diaper area either. You can't see where like, you see a little opening down there, but it looks normal like a baby would look. So that's where the, the liquid comes out of the tube and it comes out of that little opening, you know, down there. And you can't tell there's any tubing and it looks just so natural and realistic. But that's what flows the water through the doll is the tubing inside. Pretty much. That's how that goes. Um, what I do with the bottle nipples is just open them. I cut them with a knife. I squeeze the nipple together with my fingers, my um, point the finger and thumb just squeeze it together and then take the other hand and just take the knife and cut a slit in these bottles that where the hole is really tiny I just open up that hole a little more just so that the water you know it won't take you all day trying to feed her the water just kind of flows out into their mouth on its own um, and as you're pushing it, you kind of make it just come out that much faster. So you're not like feeding them for hours because the hole that's in the nipple is like way too small. So basically that's how the drinking wet dolls work. They're not actually sucking. You have to push the bottle. You have to open the hole a little bit on your doll's bottle. And like I said, I use only purified water in her bottle you, I, sometimes I can heat the water up if I want. You can heat the water, not hot water, but just lightly warm, you know, lukewarm water. Um, it just adds to the realism when they wet their diaper. The diaper feels warm, like, you know, like they actually wet it. Um, sometimes you'll even see bubbles come up. I don't see any bubbles come up, maybe because I got the hole so big. In this one, I actually opened a hole a little more a few minutes ago before I started the video because the first time I used this bottle, I didn't open the hole enough, I don't think, and it was taking her forever to drink. So now the hole is like really open and this bottle is full. It holds five ounces. Now I'm pushing it, but again, this is that silicone bottle. I could also sit here and just squeeze it because that pressure is gonna just push that water out a little faster. And basically that's how it works. It's no extra effort you have to really put into feeding the doll. Um, if you put the lubricant jelly on there, you can use KY Personal Lubricant. Um, the one I have is Dr. Sheffield's Lubricant, Lubri Gel. it's at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, also, Walmart has a lubricant. It's by Equate. That one is a little affordable also. Um, and that just helps the bottle nipple to go right in their mouth or their pacifiers. Now, what I have experienced when using the KY or the lubricant gel, 
is sometimes it, you have to clean out their mouth with the gel, first of all. And I use a Q-tip to do that. I just go in there with a little wet Q-tip, put a little water on it, and clean out their mouth. But also when you do drinking wet feedings with the drinking wet dolls, that helps clean out their mouth also. But what I've experienced is that sometimes that lubricant can dry up in the baby's mouth. And it gets stuck in the back of the throat right where the tubing is. And it covers the whole back there. And you're wondering when you're feeding them, why is the water not going down? It be coming back out of her mouth. So that's when I discovered, oh, the lubricant has dried. And it's back there on her throat. So then that's when I will heat the water a little bit, warm it. That helps to dilute that the lubricant gel to get it, you know, to get it to wash out of her mouth. So that's just a little tip when you're using the gel. Sometimes it will dry back there right where the little opening is to the tubing. Um, also to clean drinking wet dolls, if you want to clean your doll every now and then, clean their tubing out in there, you can add a little bit of regular rubbing alcohol to the water, to the bottle, and just feed them with a little alcohol mixed into the water, and that cleans them out every now and then if you think they need to be cleaned out. So definitely this time the hole in the bottle nipple is big enough. As you can see, she's drank half of that bottle and it was full to the top. So that's pretty good. So I think I got it open correctly. Um, everything is flowing well because she didn't spit up a drop this time. This is dry. So that means everything went down. Yes, her diaper is wet, soaked already. <laughs> so everything flowed as it supposed to uh what else i've also even had where the lubricant gel have went in the tube went down to her bottom and got dry in the tubing at the bottom of like at the bottom of the tube where it should come out into the diaper the liquid and the liquid wasn't coming out so then I had to use something really skinny and small and insert it into the bottom area down there where the tubing was to clear it. Yes, I've had to do that at least twice. So that's why because I use the lubricant gel so often on her pacifiers especially, I like to do drink and wet feedings with her every now and then to make sure there's no lubricant sitting in her tubing anywhere or in her mouth and sitting there and it gets dry and then it won't clear. So since I started doing regular drinking wet feedings with her, at least every other week I try to do them, if not once a week, um, I haven't had any problems with the gel kind of drying in there. So I haven't had that issue. Um, that happened once or twice when I had not fed her in a while and I guess I kept putting passies in and then the gels kind of dried up in there a little bit, teeny little bit too. It didn't take much to clog up the tubing in her diaper area. So I, what I used was a little, um, the cable ties that we use for the vinyl reborns. Uh, when you put it in there to hold their head on or arms or whatever, because I have the real skinny cable ties. And they're plastic, so it won't harm anything. And I used that and inserted it. And it's long, the cable tie, the little pointy end. And that cleared her, nicely cleared up her um, tubing down there. I just stuck it in a little bit to clear it. Because it did have gel all the way stuck down there. So this is the back of the diaper. If you guys can see that green line, it's turning green. And she's definitely soaking wet. So now we're going to change her and this baby also has a spine where you can actually feel and you probably can see it when I bend her forward on camera and then you can see her little one piece neck really good back there from the back and she is just so sweet oh my goodness hmm. yeah say I'm just so soft and sweet she um she is more of, now I know as I have Mateo, which is Willow by Claire Taylor, he is much bigger than her. And I was just like looking at what was the, the similarities and the differences between the two babies. 
he is definitely so much longer than her. And you guys seen the picture I put up with the two of them together the other day. And that is definitely one of the things um, that stands out. His legs are so long and full and hers are so curled up. So then you can just really see like the difference in the, the, um, the length of them when you put them side by side. And because she's so curled up, it like makes her look more newborn to me than him. Even when I'm holding her, she feels more of a newborn because she's smaller, I guess. And meanwhile, she's not that much like lighter than him because she's heavy too. She's like, and that's the green line. As you can see, the diaper is wet. So that's how you can tell. Definitely she had a nice little rinse out. Everything is flowing well with her drinking wet system. But she, um, when I hold her, she just feels more of a, like a newly curled up little newborn. Whereas he might seem a couple of weeks older because he's more stretched out and relaxed than her. He's not so curled up. That's the only differences I can see really in them that stand out to me. Is that she's more curled up. That newborn curled up. And then her little belly button uh, cord stump here makes her look more, I guess, more like she was just born a couple of days ago. So that is really the most difference I see. Both of them are really soft, but her softness, her silicone when I squeeze feels different from his. So I was just trying to like go over the subtle differences and what's similar about them. And I just love both babies so much. I am like loving the both of them. But they're definitely different. Definitely different. But I will do a video where I have both of them together. Eventually I'll do like a little video with the two of them side by side in a video. So today I am putting on just a little honest diaper with the flowers. And a side snap little shirt. I wanted to dress her up and then I changed my mind. Because I'm not in the mood for the dressy clothes right now. I have to like be in the mood for the dress up clothes. Um, right now, I just want to hold her because like I said, I've been mostly spending time with Mateo, Willow, <laughs> baby boy. So today, I wanted to just really like cuddle and snuggle this little one and hold her so I didn't want to dress her up. I just wanted her in just a little shirt and a diaper where I could see her little legs and all of that. I was enjoying her in that Dumbo little romper. This is a zero to three months um, shirt by Moon and Back. And it came like, I think it's four, a four pack of these with different designs on them. So I got her the pink and white set. I think like one is all white, one is all pink. Then one is striped pink and white. And then this one is pink and white or white with pink hearts. So these are like perfect if you want to just put them in a diaper. And I got these off. Of, I ordered them from Amazon. And then I ordered him some also, but his are gray and white. And I got her hand through because I forgot to bring mitts over here. But I got it through. I usually just take their fingers if I don't have mitts and close it like that with my finger. Hold it closed and then get it through the little opening so that you don't bend up their fingers. So basically that's what I wanted to come and do today. Was just share this little girl because you guys haven't seen her in a little while. And to do a drink and wet feeding, she definitely needed that. Because like I said, I don't like to wait too long before I do a drink and wet feeding with her. Now, because like I said, that lubricant sometimes will get in the tubing and it will clog it. It will dry in there and clog it. And now because I know that happens, I try to use a really little amount of the, um, the lubricating jelly. And then I'll try to wipe it out of her mouth regular with a Q-tip so too much don't get caked up in her mouth. And so far, I haven't had any problems with any of it, like causing a problem with her drinking wet. 
I haven't had to do anything extra to get any of it out of it. So this fits her perfectly to zero to three. And these, it does have built-in hand mitts on these shirts. And she doesn't really need socks. But I had these same little socks she's been wearing. I have to order more of these, definitely. These little frilly ruffle ankle socks, I love these. This is the little pink pair. They are easy to put on. They're stretchy. They look so cute and girly. They stay right at the ankle and they just, will, it's like good if you don't really want a sock, but then you want a sock on them, something on their feet, and it makes their little outfit or whatever they're wearing look girly because the socks have that little ruffle around the ankle. So that is it, guys. How long is my video? 20 minutes? Um, And I never did show the stuff I got off the haul, but from Target, but I had got those passies, the nooks, the new ones, zero to two month, and I got these pink and white. These were the last set that they had. They didn't have any for the boys. I have to check back, but what I like about them is that they look like the Suavenex. This is a Suavenex, and I love this one on her, it's pink. And then these are the new nooks. As you can see, they look very, very similar. So now you can get these right over here. You don't have to order it and wait for it to come away from the UK and all that. And it has that nice little zero to two month size flat nipple. And you can buy these at Target. Um, they probably have them at Walmart. I haven't looked. So it has a white with a little pink ring and then a pink one with a little white ring on it. And this is more, it's not really pink. It's more of that rose color. So. I think I'm going to do the white. And that is it for now. With this little one. I'm going to just leave that little headband in. Like I said, that's like my favorite headband right there. And she has a bunch of other ones from Jenna, little ones only that I ordered, I showed them. But this one still is my favorite headband with the little pink flower on it. So that is little Miss Layla. All nice and ready for cuddles now with her mommy. Not overly dressed, just nice and comfy, right Layla? So that is all for now, guys. I hope I explained and answered all of that person's questions about the dolls with the drinking wet. Like I said, you can clean them every now and then, add a little alcohol in their water. It's safe. But when they pee pee with the alcohol in the water, definitely change the diaper right away. I wouldn't leave that sitting on them. Um, anytime I feed her, I usually change her right away. Then I will let her sit up in the bouncy or if I'm not holding her. Um, just to make sure all the water drains out. Once I change her, I will check her diaper again in maybe like an hour or so from now to make sure she didn't wet it a little more. Because sometimes she will wet it a little bit more. And then you have to change her diaper again. Right, Layla? So thanks for watching, guys. We will see you again soon.